welcome to video number 13, lucky number video 13 in this sound painting series. My name is Evan Mazunik, and for those of you watching, uh, I'm releasing a uh, sound painting video every week this year. And uh, if you want any more information about the project, you can go ahead and look at the link below, the video description, refer to past links, um, refer to past videos in the series. And uh, again, I'm recording this in a batch because uh, last week and the next few weeks, I'm all recording at the same time because I'm going to be on the road with Danielson. If you don't know Danielson's music, check it out. I'll include a link below this video as well. And uh, also, if you're in the area, because we're going coast to coast for the next three weeks, I'd love to meet you. Feel free to stop by at show, say hi, and uh, we'll continue the conversation uh, in person and not just uh, over the interweb. So, again, um, I'm using sound painting, which is a sign language for live composition, and this series is really building on itself. So last week we looked at one, just one gesture, the level, level fader. Uh, and today I'm going to again build on everything we've used beforehand and all the language we've already learned together. And I like to work with one new gesture and really focus in on that one today. Now this gesture is uh, relate, relate to, um, and usually uh, these uh, videos are designed for anybody to do solo or in an ensemble, duo, trio a whole orchestra. Uh, but today, I would highly recommend that you find at least one other individual to uh, relate to. So, the way I'm going to work with it is um, you've got to choose whether you're in group one or group two. And that group could be a soloist or a duo or trio up against another soloist, duo, trio, etc. So you've got to make a choice. But today, we're going to work with the who gestures of whole group we've already worked with. We're going to work with group one. Again, you choose if you're which group you're in, if you're in group one, or if you're in group two. So assign yourself to one and only one of those groups. And to get both group one and group two, I'll use the gesture whole group to get everybody. That's 2D. That's full ensemble. That's everyone participating. All right? So... The way I'm going to work with it is I'll work with a few content gestures. We'll do the who's, maybe a what, possibly a how, and always some type of when. And then I'll work with relate to. So, for instance, I might have group one relate to group two. Now, remember that this relate to, like uh, many other gestures in sound painting, goes with some type of go gesture, like an enter slowly or a hard-edged play. So it'll need some type of initiation to get you started. But once you're started, that relationship is pretty wide open. Oftentimes in a sound painting ensemble, we're coming in, we're offering strong choices uh, and strong uh, ideas, but sort of with blinders, with blinders. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you offer an idea and you really focus on your idea and don't necessarily always tune into what's happening in the entire room or the entire performance space um, and have more of a collective mindset. So that, that approach usually results in a lot of nice um, uh, polyphony, a lot of nice strong contrasting ideas usually, and uh, is a really, really great place to start. But there's another space available to us which we start to get to with this gesture, relate to. Um, and there are ways to specify how you should relate or may want to relate to another person or another group. Um, there are ways to relate that are more supportive or with contrast. Uh, but today I want to leave that open to you. So relate to doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as synchronize as we've worked with before. It could be a supportive relationship. It could be a contrasting relationship, an antagonistic relationship. You could relate to someone within their silences. And their phrasing, you could relate to uh, a part of someone's idea. So again, I want to leave it pretty wide open to your interpretation, but I ask that on a relate to, you really take into account the information, either in sound or movement or uh, visuals, that the other individual or group is giving you, and let that inform your choice uh, as an improviser in the moment here. So I'll compose in real time using primarily this gesture, right? And uh, I'll also use point to point, okay? So this is relate to, like I'm physically, like I'm almost flossing my 
sternum, uh, or maybe yet, uh, better yet, like right, right about here, there's some floss on the end of my fingers. It's going through the breastbone here, so. Strange image, I know, but hopefully that'll stick. What I relate to is on the horizontal plane, and point to point is more up here, like I'm getting my groove on the dance floor uh, going with this gesture, okay? And point to point is the way I'll probably bring in uh, maybe a whole group. I'll say group one, you know, point to point. And if, again, just to put a little asterisk in this video, and stick with me for a second, because I'm gonna get a bit technical if you're just starting on this, but for those of you who are bit deeper into the sound painting language, I'm going to use a point to point, almost like a field point to point, where I'll get a whole crew of people with this. Uh, I used this way of point to point in a previous gesture, um, I, excuse me, I used it in a previous video, and I want to continue working that way just to really get us going. Uh, and I might say point to point, with, that's a gesture for with, like long tones for instance, and then you'll use long tones sustained sounds or movement to drive your choice. And you can develop that choice, but you'll base it in that language of long tones. Okay, so again, to review, we've got whole group, we've got group one and group two, choose which group you're in, uh, find another person or another uh, gaggle of folks to work with. I'll work with uh, point to point, again, getting a whole, probably just group one or group two with that I'll work with the different languages, long tones, pointillism, minimalism, we might work with extended techniques too. And the new gesture today is to relate to, and I'll use it with some type of go gesture, like an enter slowly or a play gesture. All right, here we go.
thanks so much for watching and participating. Please leave your response below, either in text or in video, and I will see you next week.